If you haven't done the floor press yet, you're really missing out. Allow me to explain the benefits. The first thing is that you're building incredible dead stop strength. There is a collision going on which breaks up the eccentric concentric chain. That means you'll develop incredible reversal strength out of the bottom. So it's similar to pause bench, but not really the same thing. I would argue that you'll get more explosive with the floor press because it's true dead stop training. So for anyone who's into strength training or athletics, this is the movement you want to be experimenting with. It's basically the box squad of bench pressing. Now, the second thing is that this movement reinforces tightness. Why? Because you're benching off the floor, which is a very wide base. One of the major issues with commercial gyms is that they're using these 10 inch wide pads, which are complete fucking garbage for your shoulders. That's why a lot of guys are getting snapped up. It's not even the form itself. It's literally the fact that you got these wide dudes benching on narrow pads. And that's why competition benches are constantly getting wider. I believe they're about 12 and a half inches right now. Then over here, I got a fat pad, which is around 14. So that's where the distinction lies. The floor doesn't matter what gym you're training at. A floor is a fucking floor, right? So you got that maximum tightness in the upper back. And on top of that, you can't do bouncy repetitions and triceps are going to hit the floor at the exact same time. If you notice that one side is coming down quicker than the other, you're going to feel it. So the floor press really teaches you how to stay tight. And also with that wider base, you'll find that as you're pressing up, it won't let your scapula come apart, okay? It's really hard to explain this unless you've done the exercise, but like it maintains tightness. And that's why you're gonna feel the pecs light up like crazy. Even if it is a partial range of motion for you, depending on your limb lengths and all that, which is again, great for anyone who has a lagging chest and wants to get stronger. So carry with a flat benching is impressive. And the injury prevention that this offers is great as well. It's really going to save your shoulders, man. And personally, if I did not have a fat pad, I would primarily use the floor press. And that's why most of my bench training is done at home. I'll do some deadlifts at the gym. I'll do some overhead press at the gym. I'll do some other variations like that. But I don't really feel comfortable benching on those super narrow pads. So the floor press is great for anyone who wants to avoid shoulder problems and even pec strains as well, because that can certainly occur. And you're doing it in a way that 100% suits your physiology. It doesn't matter what your build is. Once your arms hit that ground, that's all there is to it. And there's no special techniques that you can do to get out of that. You can't arch like crazy because you're not going to be resting on the chest. The exercise is complete once the triceps are on the ground. That's why it's so special. Another thing too in regards to safety is that you don't need spotters. That's another thing that's amazing about this exercise. Some of you are benching power racks that don't have adjustable holes. See what I got going on here? They're closely spaced apart. So I can set the safety pins directly at my chest or slightly under it. So if I fail, I'm good to go, right? But what if you train at a gym that doesn't have that? What if you have to rely on spotters? Well, that's not really the best thing. In the case of the floor press, you have an exercise that's naturally safe. Plus, if you fail, you just dump the weight forward. And then the final thing I want to discuss since we're on the topic of anthropometry is the fact that it doesn't matter what your build is. You can have T-Rex arms like me. You could have super long arms. The floor press will still benefit you for all the safety things I talked about before in addition to carryover, but also the fact that you're emphasizing different things. Louis Simmons always said that the floor press is the universal sticking point, right? I don't know how valid that is for raw benching, but regardless, it doesn't matter who you are. If you have short arms, you basically have a glorified pause bench. You have a movement that is more difficult. Like for me, I don't think I could do more than 350. So for guys with the shorter arms, it becomes more of a humbling type of lift, getting more out of less weight scenario. Um, great for raising the pause bench as well. And then for guys with the longer, you're getting an overloading movement. And I would say that's really good if you're throwing chains on top of it. So I would say that the longer your arms are, the more jacked the triceps are going to get from doing floor pressing. And we might even say better carryover to things like inclines and overhead press because you're not getting as deep of a stretch on the pecs. But again, they're still being lit up like crazy given the tightness and all that. So don't stress about the range of motion in the first place, right? But what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter what the anthropometry is. It's an exercise that can benefit everybody from a safety and strength training perspective. And you're either going to get overload or more or less weight. It's one of those two scenarios. And either way, that's a great fucking deal. So use it however you like. I enjoy maxing out on the floor press. Uh, you can do close grip. You can do wide. You can even do floor press with chains and actually bands as well. But that's a lot more difficult to set up. The way you do that is with short bands, but again, it's really hardcore and that's about it. You can use a Swiss bar, dumbbells, all kinds of variations. So for anyone who wants to prevent overuse, throw it in as a max effort exercise or just do it for volume work as well, three by 10, whatever, give the floor press a shot. So do it and let me know how those gains blow up.